to be anywhere, happy to be alive. That's what's up. And today, uh, we got into a conversation just a short while ago. We were talking about shit that's going on in the world and crazy life stuff. And I want to start off with, let me just tell you guys, for those who don't know, I used to be a strip club promoter in Las Vegas. That was one of the best jobs I ever had. I got into it completely by accident. I made so much damn money. But I also saw crazy shit. Okay, so... I was just about to tell my guests this story and then I decided I should share it with the world because it was that crazy. So there was a gal who was out on the strip. She was a not necessarily cute young gal, but she was working. She was a working gal. Okay. She was a working gal. And so she was out there doing her thing. And one night right in front of me, she pulled her dress down and started to pee pee. Number one. She pee peed right in the middle of the street. Like she literally hiked it up, took a squat. And the next sound I heard was like. And I was like, what the? Is she peeing right in front of me in the middle of the like world? Right. So she realized that I saw her when she hikes her skirt back down. Right. She realized that I saw her and then she was kind of embarrassed. You could tell she was embarrassed that I seen it. So she's like, you want something free? I'll give you like a little discount or something. <laughs> and I was like, what in the world do I want with some soggy wet? Yeah, I got $12. Come on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're living together now. Anyway, <laughs> but um, that was what was up with that. Welcome to the show today. After that fabulous introduction, welcome my good friend, Alexandra Cartier is with us today. Alexandra, how you doing, my dear? And welcome to the Ace Michaels Show. Thank you. I'm doing good. Oh Living my God, the dream. That voice. that voice, though. Nasally. No, it's like <laughs> freaking honey, man. That's how I do really? it again. Say again. Say what? Anything. Anything. Damn, boy. I'm sure <laughs> that some cars just drove off the road oh. listening to that. That Maybe is I a hot voice. A, you got a hot voice. I should start a sex phone line. No. Too cheap. Don't do no because then that <laughs> no seriously that takes advantage of it like you got the hot voice leave it at that like don't go yeah. and try to exploit it to make right. money you know what I'm saying just because you got it use it for something else like that should be but I'm for in America your, though that's true <laughs> <laughs> that is true that's what we were talking about earlier today too All but right. no no I d- I don't think people should use like like you know okay so I, we have these people that are out here they're like oh. Uh, I'm polyamorous and Mm -hmm. I'm in a swingers club and it's like I also do only fans and lonely fans and it's like you know what you're doing too much bro you're doing extra you don't got to do all that you know what I'm saying like Mm -hmm. like I like it when when back in the days when there was just like a playboy playmate you know what I'm saying a playmate of the year it was different those girls weren't like, oh, hey, mm-hmm. I'm Miss January. You can go and check out some more of my work on blah, blah. It was just like, no, no, dude, I'm in one magazine. You can go buy that magazine. If you want to see it, that's it. But now it's like there's a whole marketplace mm-hmm. of porn and sex and just fetishes stuff. And like, I'm not mad at anybody's, you know, thing, mm-hmm. but I also don't want to be bombarded by it. Yeah, and it's also like people you would never guess. Like Barbara from the Midwest has an OnlyFans right. and she's making like right. 10K a month. Right. I'm jealous, right. honestly. And it's like, wait a minute. People want to see you get naked and do what? You're, you're like. grandma fetish. Too. Yeah. yeah. You're like my barista. I'm what not trying to kink shame or anything, but <laughs> it is a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> right don't start kink shaming okay well we're not even here to talk about that we're here to talk about crazy life shit okay mm-hmm. so i told one about the lady who hiked up and down her skirt mm-hmm. and urinated in public you got a story that can at least come you don't have to top yeah. it but I'll can at least come to up to it. that level and i do want to comment on that story i mean at least it wasn't number two Could've i don't been a lot i worse. don't know what it was all i heard was <laughs> <laughs> okay, i didn't maybe. see anything yeah okay, i just maybe know you never <laughs> I, I put two and two together. I presumed that it was just pee-pee. Yeah. I thought. Well, I don't know. That is an interesting story. 
Uh, so yeah, I was just telling you how I used to be a showgirl on the strip, which everyone thinks they're scammers. I got I got <laughs> scammed last night by some freaking showgirls. Oh, did you really? I scammed yeah, the there's shit out of it's me, scammy, and that's why I stopped doing it because I felt bad. I was like screwing people over, and I'm like, I can't get behind this. You know, it's not morally right. But anyway, so I remember uh, I used to go at like eight in the morning too. Oh I did the God. morning shift. Who is looking for a showgirl at 8 in the morning? You'd be surprised. You haven't had breakfast yet. I know. And it would be like cold and raining and people will still do it for some weird reason. But um, oh yeah, I, there was a there's a few crackheads. We all know well, this, course, right? Yes, you must have crackheads. <laughs> and uh, That's a no brainer. <laughs> so, you know, me and the girl, we're dressed a little scantily clad, right? Well, you're showgirls. Yeah, we're showgirls. I would expect you Our not to be out there in your out. fucking tights and shit. Yeah, yeah you got to you show know, your body. We do get weird looks sometimes. Not a big deal. Um, but anyway, so there's this one crackhead. I actually could <laughs> smell him. I could smell him. It was a very strong stench, and he was it was right in front of Harris. And I l- looked, and he had his hands in his pants, and he was just, you know, going at it and going to town on that. He was masturbating? He was masturbating, yeah. In broad daylight? At 8 in the morning? Maybe that's why it was extra smelly, too. Ew. Ew. <laughs> don't go. You took me there. <laughs> you asked. <laughs> I didn't really ask. You took well, me Well, I there. like to paint a good picture. Yeah, you, that's why you did it, because you like to do <laughs> yeah. it. You know, that showgirl stuff, by the way, is such a hell of a hustle. Like, mm-hmm. let me get this straight. I'm just walking along minding my own business pretty much. Then you're going to stop me and mm-hmm. you're going to use my phone or my camera <laughs> to take a picture of you with your booty in my camera's lens. And then you're going to charge me $50 for taking a picture with my camera of you and me. That's all they charge. What you? a hustle. No, these <laughs> girls last night. Oh, my God. There was three girls. It's a true story. There's three girls. Mm-hmm. They were all good looking. Oh, yeah, right. It's usually beautiful. Oh, my God, it was hot. (laughs) Anyway, there's three women. And the the one girl, she's like the ringleader. So she's mm-hmm. like manipulating the whole situation. She's like, stand over here. Put your hand out. Put your leg up. Put your, I'm like, man, you a bossy bitch. And anyway, so she's giving me all these <laughs> info, right? At the end, I know it's going to cost money. I'm like, I should have never, ever entertained this. I'm, I know I'm not going to be happy with it at the end of this, but whatever. I'm going to help out. This is one. T- I got a little money. I'm going to do it, right? Mm-hmm. So they get me in this thing take the pictures the whole nine yards and here was the hustle the girl goes i said so w- so what's the damages how much ladies do you need you know and she goes there's three of them she goes well normally this is how she sounds she mm-hmm. goes <coughs> this is her voice well normally we charge 50 dollars each but we can't really charge we just accept tips but our m- usual tip is 50 dollars you know so if you can do that, that would be great, Han, sweetie, Han, Han, sweetie. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, look, I am not going to give you bimbos $50 each. That is not going to happen. That's $150. That's close to some Air Jordans on my ass. Like, I'm not getting ready to do that. But, oh, fuck. I will get close. I'll do close. What, what, what can we do? What can we meet in the middle? And then the one bichach, she goes, well, <clears throat> my boyfriend is in the band. This was down on Fremont Street. She goes, my boyfriend's in the band, and he's playing, which is creating atmosphere. <laughs> so you should actually tip the band, too. I was like, listen, it's I was born on a day, but not yesterday. <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> I was supposed to pay. I was supposed to tip the band. And who else? The hot dog vendor over there. And how about this guy walking his dog? Should I tip him and the his dog? The jerking off. Yeah, <laughs> like, come on, dog. <laughs> so... I, I got sweet talked out of a hundred bucks. Oh, wow. Okay. That's of swindled. child support money. Yes. And I gave up a hundred bucks to these three girls for the brief interlude moment of pleasure that lasted 10 seconds of my life to feel like I was a palaya. It's a hell of a hustle. It's like going to a strip club, except no nudity. I prefer to go to a strip club. If I, was, I, I thought about that. I, actually, I walked away and I was like, you know what? I could have taken that hundred dollars, and I could have at least gotten a dance. I could have had somebody grinding on my groin. Yeah, that's you know true. what I mean. He missed out. But I don't want to do that either. I don't okay. need. I don't need to do all that. I'm over that. I'm a, own, I'm a grown know? ass man. Now. <laughs> okay, so okay, more terror stories. Crazy life. What else happened to you? Well, you mean in Vegas? In life? No, in it doesn't life. have to be Vegas. Don't limit it to Vegas. I know oh some crazy God, shit happened so, in your life. So much. 
Where Did anybody ever stalk you? You're so pretty. By the way, no, you're actually. a good looking piece of chicken. You know that? Thank you're you. a good looking woman. Thank you. Like, damn. I appreciate that. What do you do to stay like hot? I stay out of the sun and I do not smoke. That's it? I eat well and I work out. You eat well like you don't eat burgers? But I think the sun is the case because, you, you know, white people, we age like milk. Damn. We got to stay <laughs> damn, out of that's the a, sun. That is some real true shit you it just is. told. You age like milk? That's yeah, not cute. Yeah, but you've seen other girls, like white girls that are in their 30s, they look like they're in their 40s if they go in the sun. What about tan white people? Tan white people don't look. Well, if like enough. they're Italian, they got some melanin in their skin, yeah. that actually works as a protectant. Yeah, because you look like song. a vampire kind of. Yeah, I, I'm going for that actually. That's Thank your you. that's your thing. Yeah, that's my thing. Wow. Yeah, but I try to look like the na- the vampire next door. You know. I can see that. Yeah, like I not get that. too goth. Yeah. I don't want to scare people because right. then they won't become my prey. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not touching that. Okay, so um, wow, man. Okay. So, any other crazy life experiencing? Oh, I was asking oh, yes. if somebody stalked you. That's okay, what, because so I figured people would stalk you. No, I. This is funny. You've never actually, been I have a lot of anxiety about being stalked, but I've okay. never been stalked. Wow. Um, Go I figure. mean, I think the closest thing I've gotten to it was like someone at the gym, like went into the computer got my number and, well, that's and texted me but he never like followed up after i ignored him and complained about him to the gym <laughs> but yeah he just like reached out he's like hey i know you don't know me but uh i went into the system by myself when the employees weren't looking and i got your number no! <laughs> like, it's like how'd you even find me jeez Nothing will stop me from dating you faster than you reporting me to the gym for stalking you. That is fucked up. How could you do something like that? I know. That could have been the best relationship. You know what you could have lost right there? I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) Dudes are a dime a dozen. But honestly, though, I'm in a good relationship now, so I'm happy that happened. So, so, (laughs) okay. You didn't stalk me. (laughs) Okay, so you didn't didn't get stalked in your life. No. uh, And dudes are a dime a dozen. That's what I learned from that. (laughs) <laughs> um, not all of them. Some of them. Some are dudes. No, some dudes can be diamond. I totally. I get it. No, I get the it. The vast majority, unfortunately. Did you ever date a woman? I have actually. Or was a woman better to date than a guy? No, I'm just not gay enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried really hard to be gay. I did. Like I hooked up with a couple girls. I tried to date yeah, one of them, yeah. but it was just like at the end of the day, I am too straight for my own good. You know what? I'm not gay shaming anybody. If you're gay, hey, man, do your thing. I love the gays. I love it. However, I had the opportunity to be gay. Um, In L.A., I had a manager who was gay, and he used to all the time, like he was always trying to recruit me. Was he good looking? Not in my opinion. Okay. I could see how somebody else might think so, mm-hmm. but I got to say, if I was going to be gay, and this is this is my point, yeah. okay? So Michael used to always say to me shit like, we'd, 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 uh, who knows, you'd be watching a music video, and he'd be like, on the sly, like s- side hustle. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, boys, this man is gay. And I'd be like, what? <laughs> Since when is boys to men gay? Well, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, Barack Obama is gay. <laughs> He's trying to slip like, that in your subconscious. You, <laughs> Since when is Barack? He's married. He's got three kids. Yeah, but you know his kids is gay. <laughs> like what? So anyway, so one time I got this gig, and Michael says, um, "Hey, congratulations! It's a great gig. We're gonna mm-hmm. we're gonna do this gig. We're excited." And he's my manager, you know. Mm-hmm. He goes, "So here's what we're gonna do tonight. I'm gonna pick you up from work in a limo, and we're gonna go mm-hmm. celebrate. Fancy. And I'm gonna bring some of my friends. Call your friends if you want. Let's go out." I didn't have any friends. I'm an artist, so I ain't got no friends, you know. So uh, (laughs) Michael shows up in the limo, and I first thought was, wait a minute, his friends are going to be gay. And I'm going to be with Mike in a limo with two gay guys. It's going to be like we're on a double date. So this is when I had to think about. I was like, okay, let me think about this. (sighs) If it's for my career, will I suck a dick or take a dick or be near a dick? Hmm. Hmm. So then I start looking around in the limo and, I, and there was one guy who was a big buff guy. And the other guy was a super effeminate guy. And then mm-hmm. there was Michael. So I know I'm not going to get with Michael. He's not my type. I looked him over already any mm-hmm. many times and I'm like, no, he's too like sweaty and runny, runny <laughs> nosy and too much on cocaine all the time. I can't mess with a. Yeah, I'm not trying to dry up a man to be with a man, <laughs> you know. So no on Mike. And then the other buff guy. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm not going in him. He show ain't going in me. No, he's too big. He's too thick. He's too bulky. I can't even, no, 
not happening. And then the effeminate guy, he was actually the fun one of the whole group. And I was like, well, but if I'm going to be with him, I could be with a woman. Like, why be with, with an effeminate man? I need to just be with a woman. And then he asked me this thing. He goes, this is how he talked. He goes, have you ever just wanted a man to hold you? I said, no. Why the hell would I want a man to hold me, man? I want to hold a woman. I want a spoon with a nice soft booty of a female, not a man's. Right. Sometimes so that was the night I could have been gay. I could have, but I didn't. Well, so that was my one shot. And I'm, I'm fine. I never became gay. But it did make me start thinking about friends of mine. And I was like, you know what? Now, Nikki's boyfriend, Joe. <laughs> but I would never do that to Nikki. Right. But I'm just saying if they broke up or Nikki died. Fuck. Joe's okay. kind of hot. Maybe you it's just know. you haven't found your type yet. No, I'm not going to look for my type. I'm good. <laughs> my type has a vagina, a real one from birth. That's what I'm into. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 and I don't, you know, I don't knock anybody else's thing. I did accidentally go on a date with a transsexual. Yeah. I didn't know we were on a date until Some of them we were look out. real, real. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely so. gorgeous. Especially and if they're post off. I mean, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. No, I would. Depends on the person, I think, in the surgery. You know what? I don't agree with that. That's the one thing you said I disagree with. Really? Because I met, I mean, I used to live in a city called Wilton Manors in Florida, which is a mm. primarily gay city. So my neighbor was a transsexual, mm -hmm. male to female. Mm. And uh, she male showed. to female. She, <laughs> oh yeah, my she God. showed. She like showed she's me a, everything. D, a D or a, a double A battery. This is male to no. female. <laughs> It, don't. it won't go types. in. You got to flip it around. The other. It won't go in that way. It's <laughs> male to female. Pay attention. Yes. Wow. But she would look better than any woman I've ever seen. No, but you know why? You know why I say I don't think it will work like why? that? It's because women move differently. Like when you you've been a man, you're going to mm -hmm. move like a man. That's how I can tell if I meet a transsexual at a bar. Mm -hmm. I, I can just tell by the way they move. It's like you don't move like a woman moves. A woman is is feminine. She moves like a feline. You know what I'm saying? I've Not like a masculine. Like that too, oh, I've never seen it. Really? I know no. this burlesque dancer. He's a guy hmm. and uh, he's a gay male and he moves so nice. Really like a woman? Beautifully. Like, like you? better than any other. He moves like you move. He moves better than I move. No way. Yes, he does. I'd have to see it, but I don't have the balls I could, to I see it. I, I you. knew. I'm good. He might have a crush on I'm him. I'm going to take your word <laughs> for that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's very talented, you know. You'd be surprised. And wow. I, there's a lot of male pole, pole dancers, you know, and they do. How do men men dance on a pole? Yeah. And they're actually Their pole doesn't get in the way of pole dancing? <laughs> no. Uh, if they tuck it right, you know, but yeah. uh, they have a lot of upper body strength, so they can do some pretty cool s things pretty quickly compared to women, I think. Hmm. I'm going to have to uh, live through you vicariously on that <laughs> one. And let's talk about more crazy things that have happened in your life. All right. Crazy things. So um, I'm from Florida, so I think that's enough said. That, yeah, <laughs> that pretty much begins and ends crazy right there. Yeah, I grew Florida up there. ain't no kind of joke, people. No. I lived in Florida. I lived in Tampa. Okay, and I cool. used to go down to Miami and do photo shoots. Nice. Yeah, Florida's definitely crazy. Yeah, I lived in Fort Lauderdale, Miami most of my life. Party towns. Yeah, so Except you know I grew Miami. up doing all the drugs. Over did there. you? Oh, I did, yes. Uh, you know, I experimented a lot. Uh, Let me ask you something. Young. I th I thought about doing drugs the, the other day because mm -hmm. I'm going through some shit, right? Really? So I thought, you know what? That doesn't help. I should. That's exactly the question I was going to ask you because I, I was like, you know what? Life is short mm -hmm. and I've never done certain drugs. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just try it and see. Maybe I need to just get fucked up, go through it no, and I just don't. see. No, don't do it. You've gotten this far. There's no point. Well, how far is this, though? I don't know. <laughs> Shit, this, you, ain't, this ain't nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did my first drug at freaking 12 years old. So, <laughs> I mean, now I'm sober because I, sober's that's, good. that's how much I think drugs and alcohol do not do anything for sober's you. Sober's sexy on you. Thanks. Some people be sober and it's like you're killing the whole vibe in the room, dude. Like we get it. Well, it's because we I it. used to experiment. So, right. <laughs> I'm, I'm non judgmental about it. Like if someone wants to do it, I don't really give a shit. I mean, it's not my yeah. cup of tea anymore because for me, at least everyone's got their own, you know, perspective. But 
drugs tend to make my bad times worse. Did you get crazy, crazy on drugs? Yeah. Like wandering the streets, like euphoria oh, no, type shit? no, no, no. I wasn't like the homeless people. Did you give up anything. the booty? For drugs. Yeah, you gave no. up the booty? No. No, no, no. Okay. No. Not right, in exchange. We'll but delete because that I was part. On drugs. Oh, you gave up the booty, but you didn't give up the booty to get the drugs. No, no. Okay, we'll we'll we won't really delete that. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm gonna not, say it. I'm not I wasn't a prostitute. I, I did dance for a long time, but Yeah. Yeah, I danced in Florida, which by the way, I don't recommend. <laughs> no, you know, somebody else said it. What what's about Florida dancing that's different from dancing anywhere else? And we're You're talking exotic dancing. Yes. Yes, okay. Strippers. We're talking yeah, we're talking about <laughs> getting that grind. It's a less eloquent way to say it. Yeah. Strippers. Yeah. Um because they're all brothels out there. In Florida? Yes. I did Even not though it's know obviously that. illegal. I um, did not know that. But uh, it's more you would regulated be, here, which is You would be Vegas. terrible as like the tourism director for Florida. Yeah. You realize that. <laughs> you are not you are not making know. anybody want to go to Florida right now. Yeah, I guess, you know, I'm biased. I grew right. up there. I mean, I like certain aspects of it. Like, you know, I love the diversity in South Florida. You know, yeah. the food is amazing there because of it the diversity. It is delicious. Yes. I will say that. It yeah. is delicious. Cuban food was Woo! my favorite. Did you date Cuban guys or I Cuban have. girls? You did. I dated a lot of Cuban, Puerto Rican. I've dated all types of guys. I've dated Lebanese guys, white guys. I don't even know what that means. Okay, great. Lebanese is like <laughs> Arab, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. I got you. I, got you. I actually dated two of them. Wow. <laughs> yeah, which is, you know, interesting, I guess. And so this is this is life before Vegas. Uh, it's mm -hmm. so weird that you came to Vegas and got calmed down. Of all places. Oh, no. I mean, I might have... You know, I've I've been calm for a couple of years since before I moved here. When I got here, though, like everything was kind of I mean, things have been crazy. Wow. And honestly, I thought, you know, South Florida was crazy. And then I moved to Vegas and mm. I'm like, whoa, you ever had a weapon pulled on you? Um, No, actually, I haven't. Dude, you're tame. I thought you were going to like have some wild story. You never had a no, weapon pulled on. You never no. gave up the booty for drugs. I what, pulled what? weapons on people. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh, you packing. <laughs> I am packing, but you, wow. I don't I don't carry here in Nevada right now because I'm afraid with all these crazy ass crackheads that I'm going to end up hurting somebody and then getting sued and going to jail or something or having to go to court. I just don't want to deal with don't it. I just get mace right now. Wow. Yeah. And you're, you're uh, bold enough to mace somebody. That seems like yeah. that takes more energy and more uh, lack of compassion. Like if you got a no, gun, you no, just no. shoot them. Or you what? got a knife, you just stab them. But macing them is like, you got to point that shit in their eyes and you got to wait for their reaction. And then while they're standing there all crying, you're still waiting to mace them again before. if you got to. You know what I mean? You well, don't yeah. just run away. But at least it's non-lethal and you know you didn't kill them. Yeah. Not that I, I mean, like, yeah, there's something to be said for that, I'm sure. care but. that much. But it's mostly out of selfish reasons I don't want to kill somebody. <laughs> right, exactly. You're <laughs> like, oh. Because I don't want to go to jail or I don't want to have to go through court. And it's expensive. Like, even if it's warranted, you know, I and feel the law your finds you okay. Yes. So you're pretty damn cool. So you said that you have a man in your life now. I do. He's got to be, man, he's got to be something special. So he how is. did he get lucky to get you? What did he What did he use on you? He Come with some song and dance and no, no poetry? No. He was just himself. We're just yeah. compatible, you know. We yeah. started, at, you know, from OkCupid, okay which I recommend if you want to date somebody. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's online stuff? <laughs> yeah. yeah well, the reason I like it. terrifies me. No. The reason I like that. Um, website in particular is because they make you answer a bunch of questions and you see how much you match with the person. Hmm. So him and I were like a 90 something. And you match. really do match. We do. That's nice. Yeah. And he's a good man, which is rare. That's nice. You know, a good person in general, I guess, is kind of rare. One That's that you're awesome. compatible with, you know. So, yeah, I mean, we we met. We've been together since since I moved here. It's so like the first date I went on. Since you moved here, which is what? What are we talking? Seven months? Seven years? Seven months. Seven days? Seven minutes? What? Seven months. Yeah. So seven months, you've been with the same guy, Dirk. Mm -hmm. And Dirk. Dirk is cool. <laughs> and you guys get along cool. Yeah, he's a great guy. So do you already think of Dirk as like Mr. Cartier? Mr. Is he, Cartier. Is he going to be that? <laughs> is he that dope? I mean, possibly, you know. Really? Yeah, but I mean, we, That's him and I lot. don't want kids. Right. You know, okay. And that's another reason we're compatible. And marriage isn't not in the cards, but it's not like super important to either of us. So we're wow. not pushing for it either. You know, I mean, if it happens one day, so be it. I'll you guys do kiss it. a lot? Of course. With the tongue? 
Oh yeah. I'll tell you a funny story. So <laughs> so I've got <laughs> I've got three kids and um my oldest boy who's my middle kid mm-hmm. was talking to his friend. I was driving and he has this little friend in the back seat and they're talking and his little friend goes, "So, you got a girlfriend?" <laughs> And my son, you know, he doesn't want to be outdone by his friend. So he goes, yeah, of course. And I'm like, "There, you got to remember, they're like maybe nine or something. Oh, God. He's <laughs> like, yeah, of course. And the boy goes, no, I mean like a real girlfriend, like you kiss. And he goes, yeah. And the boy goes, with the tongue? <laughs> That's why you asked that way. Right? <laughs> and so, so my son goes, yeah. And I'm like, I'm driving. I'm trying to stay focused on the road now. It's really hard for me to hear this in the back, right? <laughs> so the kid goes, well, what's she look like? And I'm like, geez, kid, get, get you some porn, dude. I you don't know. need to, like, like, my son's not going to give you, like, a <laughs> dissertation on his girlfriend, dude. Get you our, get your own girlfriend. <laughs> so anyway, so he goes, he goes to my son. He goes, so what'd she look like? And my son goes, <laughs> I swear to God, it's true. My son goes, you ever see The Matrix? <laughs> and the kid goes, yeah. He goes, well, that's my girlfriend. Oh, and I was like, damn, wow. I like that, that he knows what the Matrix is at nine. That's yeah, sweet. I'm like, oh, that's all he grew up on. Come on. I love it. Yeah, look at his dad. Oh, so anyway. I actually have a white rabbit tattoo on my back. Oh, really? From, because I love that movie so that's much. That's a great movie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the first one. Yeah, the first one. The second one can pass too. I like only the last like 20 minutes of the, the I don't like all that bullshit about the Merovingian shit. Yeah. But I do love the freeway chase at the end. That's one of the best chase scenes I've ever seen with the guys that are, that are ghosts that can mm-hmm. like, oh, that shit is. Que magnifique. <laughs> but the rest of it. <laughs> what do you think know. about the most recent one? I wasn't about it, honestly. Green, 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 <laughs> green, green. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all that and all that Marvel shit and all that Star Wars shit, too. Green. I actually never liked Star Wars. You like you like the original one, right? No. The first one, New Hope? No, I never liked Star Wars. I Let's was more of a fantasy person. I liked Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the I Rings. I like, you dope know, one. I was obsessed with Legolas for some reason growing up. Yeah. I loved elves. And I, I think that's it. why I thought I was gay because have you looked at Le- Legolas? You know, as Orlando yeah. Bloom? Yeah. Looks very feminine. And True I had that. the biggest crush. He was my first crush ever. I was like, "Oh, I wow. love Legolas." He's he he's not more feminine looking than Johnny Depp in some movies though. Johnny Depp I is, don't know. Is really makes you question yourself he's sometimes. Got that like, pretty Whoa. blonde hair flows in the wind. Yeah, yeah. Johnny Depp, I like his eyeliner and stuff. <laughs> he he looked good when he was younger. Now he looks kind of. He looks like an old man with eyeliner on. Exactly. He actually does <laughs> look man. like Keith Richards now. <laughs> yes, anyway. exactly. Interesting enough. Okay, so time is never our friend. I talked to you. More than I talked to anybody. I mean, diplomats, priests, anybody who's been on the show. I've spent more time with you than I spent with them. That's because you're that dope. Thank you. Uh, how do we follow you on the WWW? We want to be fans. We want to be stalkers pleasantly. We do not want dirt kicking our ass, but we still want to be close to you. What do we do next? You can find me on Instagram, Alexandra Instagram. with two X's, Sophia, S-O-P-H-I-A. And that is what's up. I was one question I was going to ask you having to do with weird life experiences and it came into my head and it popped out just as quickly as it came in. So I guess oh, you have to, to come back. Yeah, absolutely. And we have to do like part two. I've got tons of stories. Story de was what they say in France. It's <laughs> de. de. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Oh, I know what I was going to ask you. I remember because you were talking about stripping. Oh, yeah. And there's a question I've wanted to ask every stripper. I, I just I didn't have the balls to ask a stripper like in the club because I think she would fuck me up. Yeah. But here's my question. If you're stripping. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you know, you got to do lap dance. Mm-hmm. Right. Is that awkward? No, it becomes like any other job. Repetitive. Maybe the first couple times you ever do it. But, you know. I've done probably thousands of them. So and it's not awkward? No. Not at all? Maybe for the guys sometimes, but not, no. It would seem like it'd be so, I like, like guys probably want to talk while you're doing, like while sometimes. you're dancing them. They're like, every guy's different. So you going to college? <laughs> you're like, Fuck, like, yeah, dude. I'm trying to be a nurse. Tip me more. <laughs> <laughs> do you have I'm going to s- save lives. Do you have a story <laughs> that you do? 
You don't um, have to. No, I lie no, no, no. about a lot of things. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a freaking liar. But what's, I, what's your best, like, strip story that you will tell to get more um, money? Of course, that I really like them and I might go on a date with them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, that sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. That's mm. that's a line. Um, and then we mm. never follow through, especially here in, in Vegas because it's such a tourist town. Right. You know, people are so transient. Yeah, that you'll never see him again, probably. And, and so, so you, you can tell them that. say whatever you want. Yeah. You should go. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I might come out later. Just tip me that six hundred dollars. You said you're going to tip me. Right. <laughs> yeah. OK, so here's here's my last question. It's got to be my last question. I'm going to run out of time. Okay. My last question is then as a stripper, how do you know when you're not getting any more money out of a guy? How do you know he's done? He's he's milked dry. Uh, you could just tell by the way he's interacting with you and he keeps saying I mean, I usually, if I feel like I can get something, I will push and push and push. But if you say no for, like, the third time, I'm not going to keep pushing. I'm just going to walk away. I don't spend more than 20 minutes on someone unless they're spending money. Really? Yep. So let me ask you this. Okay. Damn, I'm out of time. Okay, this is the last, I promise. So I go to a strip club one time, <laughs> uh-huh. and it was weird to me because this stripper, I didn't, I, okay, listen, my, my buddy is a manager of a strip club. He's a co-owner. Right. right? So I go to a strip club. And I'm just going to hang out with my buddy if I see him, you know, mm-hmm. I'm going to have a couple of drinks. If I'm going to have a couple of drinks, I'd rather drink in a strip club where there's going to be naked women around because I love naked women than to go to a bar where they're not going to be naked. And I got to buy them a bunch of drinks to yeah. even talk. Right. So I bought this one stripper one drink mm-hmm. and she's sitting there with me. OK, she sat there with me all night. And she just kept talking. And I wasn't really even paying attention. I didn't. She she said, well, do you want to dance? I said, listen, I'm not doing dances. I'm just sitting here. I just kind of want to be left alone. I got a lot of shit on my mind. Mm-hmm. I don't mind buying you a drink, but just know that I'm not doing the whole thing. So she hung out all night. Mm-hmm. She gave me her phone number. Oh, and wow. she got my my Instagram. She s- sends me messages on e- Instagram. So she right? must really like we you We took then. some pictures together. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, damn, dude. And she's also fine. Okay, so fine, I say go right? for it. <laughs> but then I thought, well, maybe this is a line. Maybe this is her thing. Like, you know, maybe she gets like escort work this way by just getting to know the guys. And she's got a whole string of guys. And I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm not going to be her next uh, sugar daddy. I, I, I'm i barely going to be like a sprinkle sugar daddy. I can get yeah. that kind of money. I mean, if you that's I mean? her thing, she's not very smart, to be honest. Because okay. like, if the guy doesn't seem interested in you from the get-go, like don't. But I don't know. I wouldn't waste my time. But, you know, who knows? But that scenario sounds might like, like there you. might be a little something going on. I think she either likes you or, I mean, the reason she's <laughs> keeping in touch. It's a slow-ass night. <laughs> or, yeah, well, I would say that, but she's keeping in touch with you, so that's showing something else. That's showing more interest. So maybe she actually likes you. You never know. Interesting. Okay, well, there is Love Advice 101 for Ace <laughs> Michaels on the Ace Michaels Show. How to date a strupper <laughs> Strupper. brought to you by Alexandra Cartier. It's not Alexandria, but Alexandra. Yes. Just drop that dra right there, dog. Dra. That's where it belongs, okay? And that's what's up. Hey, guys, I love you. If that sounds sincere, just know it is. If it doesn't sound sincere, you say it however you wanted me to say it and just know that that's what I mean. And at the end of every show, you know what I say. Live the life you love. Love the life you live. Thank you.